Huh? Hey guys, uh, welcome to another Freedive UK video. Uh, I'm Ian Donald and today uh, we will be looking at freediving lanyards. Uh, so freediving lanyards are one of those things that you're pretty much going to make yourself. So in this video I'm just going to go over briefly uh, how to make your own freediving lanyard. All right. So um, now this, this is uh, a lanyard that uh, I made. I made this. This is pretty much what I use in the school, okay? So um, what I'm gonna do is just go over each individual element. Uh, excuse me if I get some of the names wrong for like the little bits. Uh, I'm not a sailor, and a lot of these are just kind of chandlery bits of kit. Um, okay, so starting from the rope end, all right? Actually, hang on, let's just go back, go back, go back. What is a lanyard for? Some of you might not understand what a lanyard's for. Um, so the idea with a lanyard is that it attaches to our wrist, Okay, and then we'll attach to the drop line so that when the free diver is going up and down on the line, uh, they are attached to the line so they don't go off in any kind of crazy direction. They understand which way is up and down. And in the case of an emergency, like a really bad emergency, uh, the free diver can actually be lifted up with the line. Okay, there's a bottom plate at the bottom of the line, and everything can be tugged up. Okay, brought back to the surface. It also means that you don't drift on into oblivion if something goes wrong. Okay, so obviously after a certain depth, you're going to be kind of heavy in the water, and at which point it's kind of nice to know that you're attached to something to the surface. Starting from the end. Okay, so this is the rope end. Uh, we have a uh, a little snap hook. All right. Now um, I think this is like a 10 mil snap hook, or maybe an 8 mil snap hook. Uh, the idea is is that it needs to be able to uh, deal with a, uh, a rope that's around 10 mil thick, which is kind of like a recommended thickness for uh, dive lines for free diving. So this needs to be able to go over that section. Uh, I then have a section of stainless steel um, uh, rope, all right, stainless steel cord. Uh, this is about four mil stainless steel cord. Uh, this then attaches to a uh, quick release snap shackle, I believe. Um, with a nice little toggle at the end as well. Uh, this then attaches to a stainless steel split ring, okay? And then this attaches then to a uh, wrist strap of some description, okay? So uh, now this wrist strap, which I think this is a really good thing, I think. Uh, this is a, a, a bodyboarding fin uh, tether, fin saver. Okay, so uh, what it does uh, for bodyboarders, normally it have like another cord, they'll attach this um, to, uh, to their foot, to their, to their ankle, uh, and then attach the little loop to their fins, okay, they're, they're for kicking fins, um, and uh, if their fins come off in the surf, then they don't lose them, all right? So, but what's brilliant about these is that they are just uh, a really super tough uh, Velcro padded uh, strap. Okay, so it's like a watch strap, but just more comfortable and stronger. Um, these particular ones are by uh, Balin, okay, and uh, what's quite nice about the Balin ones I found is that there happens to be this little section just here uh, where the webbing uh, isn't sewn down, but it's sewn in between two sections, which allows you to put a slit ring through. So if we start from this end, how we manufacture this, so I've cut down my uh, bodyboarding fin tether saver. I've then attached, a st this is a 50, uh, mm, can't be 50 mil, oh, look, it's that big, all right? So it's like a couple of centimeters across, uh, split ring. I've just slid that through, all right, this section here. So if you imagine that's all I've got so far, all right? Then what I've done is this uh, swivel snap shackle, quick release. It's very important to have the swivel, so if you start turning around the line, it won't be a problem. Uh, this is then attached, of course, to the split ring, so it's just rolled back around until it attaches to the split ring. Um, and then we have uh, the actual quick release point. Okay, so if I were to, if I needed to uh, get off the the line for whatever reason in, in an emergency, I can just pull this. That comes undone. Okay, and then I can come back up to the surface. All right, so that's that section. All right, so that's the that's the closest section to your wrist. Um, this then. Okay, what we have now is the, the stainless steel cable part. Um, so I've created a loop at the end, all right, so allow the, uh, the snap shackle, uh, the quick release swivel shackle thing, whatever it's called, uh, to snap in through that. Okay, it's nice and open loop, so it just comes off really easily. Um, inside this black bit, this is just some black tape. Inside here is a copper crimp. 
Okay, and then, so that is, I mean, there's no way, you, you can never pull that open. I mean, that probably take a couple of tons, I don't know, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to definitely take the weight of a freediver. Um, you then have up to 1.2 metres of cable. You don't really want any more than that. That's kind of up to a regulation length. When you're creating these, uh, just think about how long you want it, like for what purpose. So um, if you're trying to refine technique, you might want to go shorter because it means you're not too far from the line and you've got to be really accurate. Um, if you're maybe doing a sort of, the reason we keep these relatively long in the school is that what we want to do is if people, you can attach them to your uh, weight belt as well. If you're kind of doing a no fin style, if you're doing mono fin style as well, it gives people a little bit more range. So if you want a bit more range off the line, then this is really good. So this is like a 1.2 meter length. At the other end, of the cable I've done the same thing with a slightly tighter loop okay um, and uh, this is obviously uh, immediately uh, created through and put through the end of the snap hook because otherwise there's no way of getting this on okay you can't put it through the other way so that's just how you've got to do it um, now uh, one of the downsides of this, and this is something I've been meaning to change on this for a while, so this is something I'd suggest that you do, is actually uh, this kind of being loose at the end isn't as safe as you may want it. All right? So what I would suggest to do is in fact tape all the way up right to the end here. So this part here at the end is actually relatively stiff. Okay, so I mean this is okay, but what you will find sometimes is it might go into this sort of position, and then if the rope gets caught in between here, it can create a bit of a lock, and that will stop you returning to the surface as easily as you might want. Remember, you've always got the quick release, so that's kind of always there, so don't panic. Um, but if you just tape all the way up to the top here and just create a relatively solid section, maybe make this loop a little bit smaller and tighter initially as well, and that'll just keep it all together. You've always got the swivel at the other end to allow the movement through. Just to go back through it again. Again, some kind of wrist strap, watch strap, that kind of thing. Tough, strong, enough to take your weight. Split ring, quick release, stainless steel, snap shackle, um, stainless steel cable or rope. You can use rope as well, but make sure the rope is stiff. Okay, you want to maybe cover it in a PVC pipe or something in order to keep it. But stainless steel is kind of like cool and tough and it's going to last you forever. Crimped tight here, all the way up here, crimped tight here, through the snap hook at the end, make sure there's a big enough gate in there to allow the rope through, and then you're done. And that is how you make a freediving safety lanyard. Thanks again for watching. Um, remember to subscribe to us here and uh, check us out on Facebook and Instagram and uh, Twitter, and check out freediveuk.com for other tips, news, and cool stuff. All right, thanks very much for watching, guys. Take it easy. Bye.